For this project, we're using a really fun new die set from Maker's Movement, and I'm obsessed with these new shaker sprinkles. Look how cute they are. First, I'm using my Crossover 2 die cutting machine to cut the different elements out of different fun colored pieces of cardstock. I used the colors in the shaker sprinkles to help me decide which, you know, which colors to use for this. Then I'm using my Xyron Creative Station to turn all the little bits into stickers to make it easier to put my card together. I used the example image on the packaging to help make sure I put all the little cassette tape pieces in the right order. And first I'm putting the cassette together and then I will add it to the card. using the double-sided foam from Maker's Movement to help pop up my cassette tape because I need to leave room so that I can add the fake cassette film that's gonna come out the top. Here I've cut a really thin strip of black cardstock and I made sure it's the same height as the foam tape that comes from Maker's Movement. Use a craft glue to help shape that black strip of faux cassette film tape into a heart shape and glue it onto the card. Now I'm gonna use that double-sided foam tape again to make the border and then I'm gonna fill up the heart with these really fun shaker sprinkles. I couldn't pick just one, so I used all three. Go big or go home, right? I'm ready to seal everything into place. So I'm using the um, acetate that's also from Maker's Movement. I love it, it's so clear, like glass-like. And when I put that on top, I've now closed everything in place so I can shake my little sprinkles around. All that's left to do is add a border to cover up my foam tape 
and then I added some of the fun accents just to give it that cool retro feel.